Hello, my name is Chantal Remy. I live in Scotland. Um, I live in Fife. I came to Fife from Africa, Rwanda, in 1999. So in September, it's going to be 21 years. And today, I just wanted to um, speak a little bit about this um, movement we are seeing all across the world about Black Lives Matter. Um, a lot of people, you know, we think this problem is only in America, but the truth is racism also exists in UK and uh, Scotland. We see pockets of, um, of, of, of uh, racism and discrimination against black people. Um, it may not be on the same scale, but this is the right time to kind of talk about this issue. And the reason I wanted to um, uh, and do this short film is just to kind of share a little bit my own experience of what it's like to be a black person and in five and to be fair most of my experiences have been positive i have been lucky in that i've embraced my new home and uh, people in my new home well it's no longer new but people and Fife have also embraced me. But that does not mean I've not had my fair share of challenges. That does not mean my two sons, who are also black, have not had their fair share of challenges. And just in terms of uh, uh, people using the skin color to try and put you down, people using the skin color to try and think that you don't belong, people trying to use the skin color to try and undermine uh, 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 whatever that you undertake to do and, and, and to be fair sometimes that can make life even more challenging than when someone is actually blatantly racist uh, because when someone is being a blatant racist at least you know where the problem is and you can fa face that problem head on but the problem we've had um, in Fife in Scotland is that sometimes um, People, it's 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 done in the in the smallest of ways, and then when you challenge someone, they will just turn around and say, "Oh, I'm not being racist, or I've not got any problem with people of color." But you can't underestimate the fact that the history of black people um, in the West, the history of black people vis-a-vis -vis like uh, the white race has not been a pleasant one. You know, it's been a, a, a horrendous uh, a kind of uh, legacy where there's not been just um, slavery, but there's been things like colonization, there's been things like brainwashing, stealing uh, uh, black people's identities, and, and, and this type of mass brainwashing where you are constantly made to feel you are inferior because you are born black. And so it's sad that it's taken so many deaths of innocent black men, black people in America, uh, to, to make this movement really become a global one. But it is time that we talk about this because at the end of the day, enough is enough. Uh, you cannot, you know, people cannot continue to take so much injustice over centuries, over millennia and just be expected to get on with it. You know, otherwise, where's meaning in life? When you can just, you know, your great grandparents are born uh, to slavery. The, in my case, my uh, um, my grandparents, my my parents, they spent part of their time in, during the colonial era and, and they were made to feel like the white people is superior and the black people is inferior and therefore, um, they had no say, they had no voice. And in fact, some of the problem in my own country in Rwanda, the genocide that took place in 1994, that was the result of colonization seeds that had been planted. The idea of divide and rule between the two tribes. So the truth is the consequences of um, institutional racism, the consequences of establish racism and discrimination, the consequences of education where we are afraid to face the truth and talk about the ugly history, which then perpetuate, perpetuate this idea or ideology, if I may call it, that the white people are superior and the black people are inferior, is 
is resulting or has resulted and continue to result in so many tragedies. And there's no need for that. You know, the, the planet is huge. The, the, the planet has got plenty. We can all live in peace. We can all uh, abide by the fact that we are all born equal. And nobody's born to hate. Nobody, nobody's born to with with ideological uh, 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 beliefs in them these things are planted in us by society and that's why it's very crucial we start a very honest conversation about this you know we start a very honest dialogue and we start looking at how is it that we can face the you know the past and the legacy of um of of our f- ancestors and our forefathers, what they did, and how can we sit at the table and discuss these things in a manner that is conducive to um, understanding and to uh, giving everybody that right to just be. It doesn't matter you are black, white, yellow. These are irrelevant. You know, everybody should just be allowed the right to be, to be themselves. Yes, if they start to infringe upon other people's rights, then that's understandable, but that does not require killing someone. It does not require putting someone down. It does not warrant refusing someone a job because they happen to have a name that you can't pronounce. That does not warrant uh, uh, not giving people the grade they deserve in school, not giving them the opportunity that um, is meant to you know, earn them a decent living and so that they can thrive towards flourishing in society and contributing towards society. You know, it's an ecosystem. The world is not made up of one type of people. We need to realize that. We need to realize that we are all here, you know, um, because we didn't choose um, to be here. Um, I didn't choose to be born black and to be born in Africa. The late George Floyd, who has just been killed uh, by the brutality of the police in America, didn't choose to be born black, you know. So there need to be an understanding, and this needs to start from the top. And the top top, um, people need to start talking about this in a very, very truthful manner. We need to speak truth to power. We need to, you know, we need to go into all areas of our institutions and start talking in honest ways how we can make sure that we discuss these issues. And and in Scotland, as there, albeit there are many, many people who will speak against racism, and I've been very lucky that I've had people in Fife stand by me and support me, and I wouldn't have a voice today if I didn't have these amazing white people uh, 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 kind of uh, nurture me and motivate me and mentor me to be who I am today. But at the same time, the truth is I am one of the minority of black people who have had those privileges to be accepted by the, you know, my fellow white peers and to be integrated so well. The truth is most of the black people struggle. Most of the black people struggle to find opportunities and to get on with their lives the way they would like to to, to do. So it's about time we start to talk. We sit at the table and we discuss ways forward that will be conducive to a better future for our children and 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 the young people uh, who will inherit uh, this place and this planet. So, I just wanted to voice my support for the things that are going on and just to kind of share a little bit of the challenges that goes on when you are black. And these challenges are not just um, they are not just it's not just about the external uh, um, discrimination we see by other people, but this, when you internalize them and you identify yourself with the complex of inferiority, you identify yourself with the problem of self-esteem, all those things are not conducive to a person's growth. You know, it, it, it stagnates the, the person grows and it steals them of their full potential. And our young people are having to go through that. You know, they're witnessing the system that's constantly, you know, stop and search and 
using violence when it's a black person. There's no need for all this violence because an unarmed black person, what is the worst they can do to an armed police person? It just doesn't make sense, you know? So it's about time we all come together and, and, and kind of just talk about this in honest ways and find ways we can all share our shared humanity, our shared values, our shared principles, and, 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 and kind of just kind of understand each other. Uh, I'm wearing a t-shirt by Bob Marley now, and it's all about one love, one humanity, and peace. Thank you.